All right, guys, now if you've been following for a while, you know obviously we, we do dry ice cleaning here at Mary Motors, uh, uh, along a myriad of other things. However, one thing that we're pretty jazzed up about is we have just recently added something cool to our service line, being laser ablation or laser cleaning. So our technology is a giant machine, basically, that is going to shoot pulse lasers at a surface to be able to clean contamination without harming or degrading the surface. Now, some of you may be saying, well, I thought that's exactly what dry ice does. And that's true. Dry ice, again, is another technology that when you shoot the media at the surface, it's gonna clean all the surface without hurting the underlying surface. In this case, these Porsche casings. Now, the reason we've invested in the laser cleaning for the automotive service line, as well as all of our commercial work, is the ability to move through and clean things more thoroughly. Sometimes that may be dry ice, sometimes it may be the laser ablation. In this case, and we think this is gonna be a really great example, here we have two Porsche casings. One's gonna be a 2.4, the other one is a 2.7. You can see these babies have literally yummy. We have not cleaned these things at all. Now, if we were to dry ice clean them, we would be going through a pretty big particle size, a lot of media, right? Um, trying to clean up these casings. And in some regard, it may not do the best job in cleaning up these casings. What I've seen from these lasers, which they look amazing, and full disclaimer, I uh, went on the hook and, and spent a decent amount of money. In fact, all of Miller's college money is gone. I'm sorry. Dig it. Yeah, it's, it's gone. We're just now cutting our teeth on those. So we're excited. I hope you guys follow along. Check this out. We are not sponsored by Milwaukee, but if they'd like to, yeah, okay. That'd be fine. Um, I do own more than one screwdriver. So, so let's get into this. <laughs> thing doesn't work. We already got the sign on for him. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Absolutely. We're ready. All right, so we've shown you guys a little bit of the machine and uh, so I want to uh, move it. So we've decided to partner with uh, New Wave uh, Laser here. We have two of the representatives all the way from Texas. Boys, yep. introduce yourselves. Where are we? Hey, how's it going? My name is Ryan Bray with New Wave Laser based out of the uh, Dallas, Texas area. This is my uncle. Daryl Knippa, and I'm the owner of the business, and uh, our corporate office is in San Antonio, Texas. And I made Daryl wear that cowboy hat because <laughs> I told him if he didn't, then he was getting proper kicked off the property. So, um, <laughs> but uh, I, so again, we partnered uh, with this group. So after, when I was doing some preliminary research on this technology, I realized pretty quickly that one, it's relatively new, kind of cutting edge. Um, a lot of the uh, equipment and uh, manufacturers are not US based and uh, so when you're trying to communicate with some of those uh, different parties find the right equipment one there's a language barrier there two you don't really know the performance you're getting um, and three if anything breaks we have apps we're just dead in the water right and so because we plan on really putting the screws of this thing and we're going to be running it we're going to be running the absolute tar out of this thing um, we wanted to make sure that we have a service partner a channel partner here stateside and that's why we went with pretty much the only group that we could find so if you guys are watching this video you're interested in this type of cleaning you should check out the link that miller's going to post in here right now and you can check out some of their different machines behind me we have a 500 watt pulse laser so two different types of lasers that we were looking at. One's a pulse, one's a continuous. The difference is gonna be the amount of heat that it's gonna put into that substrate. With a pulse laser, because of the type of work that we do here at Merit, uh, being automotive and then jumping into the commercial sector as well, it's imperative that we don't put too much heat into the substrate that we're trying to clean. So we went with the pulse laser. We actually have a thousand watt pulse laser. This is a 500 watt pulse laser. Pretty much the same chassis size, the only difference is speed. And if there's one thing that you know that we like, it's speed. You don't want to listen to me ramble anymore. This is the machine, these are the dudes, this is some of the shit we're going to try to clean. Let's check it out. Alright, so Miller just asked a good question that um, very appropriate and I think that's something we should get into so Ryan is holding some kind of apparatus and we've got this giant machine and so why don't you tell us a little bit about what 
that is yep. and how it correlates with what this is. Absolutely. So with any laser cleaning machine, there's only really a couple of main components. The first of which is your actual cleaning head itself. So this has the actual fiber laser cable running through the cable to the cleaning head, which will have mirror, mirrors and gyros in here that'll change the uh, style, the scan pattern, the beam pattern, and a lot of other settings here in the cleaning head. Besides the head, the cable, and the case here, there's really only a couple other main components, which is the laser generator itself, a uh, water chiller to keep everything cool, and then your operating system. So really four main components that make up the entire laser cleaning system. All right, so as you just saw, Ryan was taking his laser and he made a couple of preliminary passes. This is just one of our fab tables and you can see it's really, really dirty. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, this thing is, it's seen some stuff. So he just cleaned this surface. This is crazy. He just got done with a laser on this surface and it, it's cool to the touch. Now, what Ryan just explained to me, he said, if this was a pulse or a continuous wave, uh, laser this substrate would be three what 300 degrees 400 degrees yeah three to 400 degrees and I can touch this yeah. so for something like what we're doing here at Merit you can see why we chose the pulse laser over the continuous laser to have those cleaning results but again we're not putting any heat into the surface and it's critical so I just asked Ryan something so it this table is so dirty check this out right um, I have one of our old stickers on this table and so I asked Ryan, could you clean part of this area over this sticker without taking this sticker off with that laser? He says he can. Let's check this out. The sticker's been on there a long time. Huh? Yeah. This casing is dirty, yes, but it's also painted. Oh yeah. Right? So I mean, it's not like it's just a dirty casing. You're taking through, and the, and the, the paint is adhered very well. So it's going through the actual, it's going through all of the layers and just cleaning it down to this bare mat casing. That's right. I mean, you can see the layers right here. Mm-hmm. Like, look, it doesn't, it's not like it scrapes off. It's not like it's hoodoo YouTube magic. You impressed? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's really cool. Obviously, you know, we'll need uh, a little bit of time and practice to, to hone in on this, but I think the versatility, what this allows us to do is to be able to render near perfect results. Whereas with dry ice, there's times we have limitations and there's nothing more disheartening than us having a vintage Porsche in and we give it back and 98% of it looks amazing and there's four nuts and bolts that are rusted and you give it back and they're, they see those four nuts and bolts and you're like, what about the other 98% of the car that looks absolutely amazing? We're taking vintage cars you know, from the 80s and, and back and making them look near perfect, but we couldn't ever be perfect. And I think this solution allows us to be as perfect as we can possibly be in preserving and not restoring. And that, of course, as you know, is what we're always striving for.
Okay, so this is pretty cool. And uh, so I have a buddy, his name is Mark, and uh, he happens to own Leading Edge Auto Sports. And uh, Mark is like the dry eyes guy. He's just so amazing. Um, one of the things that Mark has done really, really well is uh, he's shown some really unique perspectives and when they're doing some dry ice cleaning. And Mark, I know you're watching this and I know you're blushing and yes, I'm gonna keep all the royalties from this video. It, it's not gonna generate, so don't ask. However, one thing that Mark did that I've always been envious in, Mark was one of the first dudes to take his dry ice machine and start cleaning his lift arm. His lift arm was just always blown out. And like, you can see why. Uh, when you use this equipment um, every day, five days a week, it gets really dirty. So, Mark, I see your dry ice clean lift arm and I raise you one laser. So I've dry ice cleaned this many times, obviously, and uh, this thing is really, really built up. And I mean, even dry ice cleaning it, it would take a lot to get it clean. So this right here, what we've been able to do, which I, I feel is really important to illustrate, is the difference between what dry ice and what this laser is going to do is dry ice, when we've cleaned it, is going to leave this paint on, right? Now that we've cleaned it with this laser, you can see we've removed a lot of that paint, almost all of that paint, and we've taken it down to this bare metal surface, which for us is great because we want to go through and we want to refinish these arms anyway because they've seen a lot of use. So the difference between dry ice and what our laser is going to do is that right there. Paint, no paint. Clean surface, dirty now, but if it were dry ice clean, clean surface, all just comes down to preference. So you've seen a little bit of that cleaning on that Porsche casing, which I'm just uh, beside myself. I've been doing this for a number of years. I've had cars my entire life. I've uh, always been obsessed with uh, cars and having the nicest thing that I could possibly afford. And it doesn't matter the type of vehicle. It doesn't matter what it means to anybody else. You always take pride and ownership of that possession. and and you always want it to be clean, right? And, and so that's kind of how we segued into this business. And um, as great as our driest equipment is, there's still times, as previously stated, where we hit these thresholds or these benchmarks where we just can't get things as clean as we really like. Enter the lazy cleaning. If you guys like this content, you wanna see more of this content, stay tuned. We're most definitely gonna be shooting a lot of this content on all sorts of different stuff. I don't even know what we're gonna be cleaning, but we're gonna be cleaning a lot of stuff. So stay tuned, visit our channel. You can check out our websites. Our automotive site is www.meritmotors, that's M-O-T-O-R-S, co.com, or you can visit our industrial site, and that's meritindustrialcleaning.com, and stay tuned.